first um maybe you already watched it there was an interview with uh, Sven Torre that has been released on December 22nd I guess um it's not nothing really new um I think if you've watched if you've followed this um live stream then you know most of it already uh, because we talked about mostly it was about the OER hub and um well, big news, it's not released this year. <laughs> I hope it's January. Um, yeah, but there was one piece of information that might be interesting for you, and I uh, picked that out, and we can have a look at that. Um, then I am going to demonstrate a small, tiny WordPress plugin um, that I've created for a university in Germany um, as, a, as a contractor. And um, it's nothing, it's really not a huge plugin. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll have a look at that in a second. And, um, what else do I have? Um, what else do I have? Oh, yeah! Oh, pardon, pardon me. Um, you, you may also know that my, well, my kind of my business model is to, um, to be an IT freelancer, so I code stuff for H5P, and I always try to get customers who are eager to contribute back, so, um, who are willing, um, that they, but the stuff that I create can become open source, so it can be included in the H5P core or um, it directly, or it could be a new con type, could be new features. And luckily, um, I have a cool customer um, in Korea, and they agreed that um, they, they want all the stuff that they have created to be, be part of the H official H5P code. And um, I'm allowed to show you something, so um, I will. So that's my uh, three. Um, oh, and let's have a look if that is the video, I guess, might be, um, uh, yeah, that's the one I'm talking about, that's the video. And if you want to skip ahead, it's kind of at second, uh, our time code at 20 minutes, that's where the, the fun bit starts, but <laughs> we'll get to that in a, in a, in a minute anyway. So, let's have a look, um, yeah, I guess we can kind of start right now, so, let me switch my screen, <coughs> oh, sorry. So, that is the video that I'm talking about. And now, I'm not, again, not completely sure if I configured everything correctly. So, because it's, it's kind of complicated working with OBS and keeping track and all of all the inputs. And you have this microphone and we have my desktop audio. And I hope it's working. So, um, maybe I'll keep an eye on the chat and I will just play it. And if you can hear the sound, or if you can't hear the sound, just tell me if you can understand the sound well. So, let me play it. Or maybe I go back a little so we don't miss anything. So let's start here, maybe. For an H5P right now, what's the, you know, maybe the top one or two features or the top one or two changes that you're making that you're going to be pushing out? Mm -hmm. At the H5P conference, the last one, it's it's a while back now because of COVID, but it was, was the hub, of course, uh, okay. by far sounds the nice most requested sounds... features. Okay, sounds working, that's great because we are close to, it, it's now the next 30 seconds uh, that matter, so I'll just play the, those. It will be good to have that out. Number two, I'm not certain exactly what that was. There are lots of requests for, for like the modern or the, the hyped things. So we've got 360 virtual tour for 360 images and uh, 360 um, videos are very much requested. On the forum on hvp.org, the number one thing is uh, a OneNote integration. But I think uh, Microsoft helped that a lot because they were campaigning on Twitter for people to go in and vote for that request. So okay. we're working with them now to, to finish it. It's pretty much done. Uh, but uh, there are a few adjustments. I wasn't exactly happy with the user experience yet. So we'll need to do a few adjustments and then we'll get it out there. Mm. Uh, PowerPoint import is also very much requested, so that, that is also, we have a prototype for it and it's coming. Okay, maybe that was not loud enough, but I'll repeat it. Um, it was about my, uh, PowerPoint import that is often requested on the forum and Spentor said there is a prototype and it is coming. So that is kind of interesting news, I guess. I don't like PowerPoint that much or presentation software in general because I think um, it's overused and um, you don't need it that much. But I know that many lecturers, especially at university, use it and um, I guess it could save them much time if they want to create course presentations in H5P if they just can 
take their existing content and just convert it and use it. And um, I haven't tried it yet, but I know there is a pretty old uh, proof of concept, that's what it's called, and we can have a look at that as well. And I'll share the link, of course, um, in the chat and later on in the video description. So if you want to have a look at that, um, that is some source code you see. There's no documentation or anything, but um, it is, well, this proof of concept, which is three years old, and I haven't tried it. I, I just, um, I tried to, to, to run it on my system just 20 minutes ago, but uh, obviously I'm missing one library and um, I wasn't too sure how to include that, to be honest, in, with PHP. It, it's nothing special though, it's a zip archive, so um, I've just never installed that locally, so I didn't have the time. Um, it should work, so if you want to try it out, you can uh, download that one, and you can call reader.php on your your um, your shell or whatever you're using, and then just add a PowerPoint file, and it should convert it in some way. Again, I haven't tried. I, I remember I have tried it three years ago, and it was was okay, so if it's just text and, and images, that works. You might have to reposition the images a little bit, but um, that conversion works well. Of course, transitions don't work because Ahrefs doesn't have any transitions, and um, animations don't work because Ahrefs course presentation doesn't have animations. But still, it might save some time. And the interesting thing that is is okay. This is coming. Again, <laughs> you don't know when. That's important. And the other important thing that you might want to take away is um, that if enough people say, okay, we want that feature, we need that feature, and if they make some noise on the forums, then the core team sees that, and so um, they react on it, and so they create that stuff. So, again, um, it's an open source project, and I know you, maybe you cannot code, but you can still contribute by just sharing your ideas and by being loud and saying, okay, I want that, and by making others being loud as well. So. That is how that works. So that's still something you can do even if you cannot code. You can make some noise and uh, yeah, I want that feature and um, show me that. So please do that.